This attracted a huge crowd of onlookers as those crews work to assess what is called a beat whale. Fox 35's Patrick Perez was on the scene all afternoon and has an update tonight. Finally, an end to a long day for not only this whale, but the people looking after her. Crews have managed to lift her body out from the beach and onto the back of this truck, where eventually she'll make her way to SeaWorld. Onlookers knew something was wrong with the whale when they saw it struggling to get back out to sea earlier in the day. It's hard seeing a whale that's either sick or just suffering, just having to be put down. And not doing its best. Bracken, a 17 year old visiting from Minnesota, held hold on to the whale for seven hours as others applied water to keep it alive and towels to prevent sunburn. For an animal like this just to be suffering on the beach, I mean, it's sad and it hurts, but I mean, you got to keep the company while it's there. And some of that company also came from six year old Autumn Smith, who helped fill buckets. Because the whale is sick and I want to um, uh, feel him better. Sadly, the female, believed to be a beaked whale, was too sick and weak to push back out to sea or take to rehab. Crews with SeaWorld decided the only option was to put her down. It's just cool, like, I mean, just experiencing it and helping out. I mean, that's been, it's one of the best things. A few hours after the whale took her last breath, crews finally managed to remove her from the shore and bring her onto the back of this truck for transport. The SeaWorld veterinarian tells me that from here, she'll go back to SeaWorld where they plan to study her and the results of that study to find out exactly what was wrong with her should be available in a few weeks. We're in Flagler Beach tonight. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Patrick. And this really is an unusual sight along the coast because these types of whales are rarely seen. Again, it's a type of whale called a beaked whale and they look a lot like a large dolphin. They typically live deep in the ocean and rarely come to the surface, but they can grow up to 40 feet and weigh up to 50 15 tons. They have a long lifespan, up to 84 years. But again, scientists really don't know too much about them because they spend most of their lives at depths of around 3,000 feet and below.